Hi everyone, my name is Susie and I'm a graduate student in astrophysics and I'm coming to you today from the WVU Planetarium. In this lesson, we're going to be making a solar pinhole projector. Before we get started, let's talk about sun safety. You should never look directly at the sun um, because it can cause severe eye damage or blindness. You, when you look at the sun, you should always use proper solar protection like these solar glasses here and never look at the sun unaided. For this lesson, you either need the WVU kit or just an index card, um, a sharp pencil, and scissors if you want them. First step, if you're using our kit, is to cut off this third flap. If you have an index card, you've already done this part actually. Then, you take your sharpened pencil and you poke a hole in the middle of your card. And then you spin the pencil in the card until your hole is the size you want it. This one's good. And then you can smooth down the back just to make it a little prettier. And then you're done. When you're outside, put a piece of white paper down on the ground in the sunlight and then standing with your back to the sun, hold your projector three or four feet above the paper so that you can see an image of the sun through the hole. Uh, that image is an inverted image of the sun. And so when the eclipse starts happening, it'll happen sort of mirrored to how it's happening in the sky, uh, but you'll be able to see everything very clearly. You can use different sizes of holes. Um, larger holes will make blurrier images, smaller holes will make clearer images and you don't even need holes in a card you can use something like a colander or the holes between tree leaves or if you cross your fingers over each other you can see the eclipse in all of those things solar eclipses happen because sometimes the moon is between the earth and the sun so the moon's always going around the earth the earth's always going around the sun and occasionally all three of those line up so the moon is in the middle and when the moon is in the middle, the sun's light is blocked by the moon itself. So there is a shadow on the earth and that shadow moves. And if you're in the right place, you can see that shadow as the sun being blocked. So most places that see an eclipse will see what's called a partial eclipse, where only part of the sun is blocked by the moon. But if you're in special places, um, such as Buffalo in April, 2024, um, you will see the sun completely blocked and it will be totally dark in the daytime. Um, and solar eclipses happen pretty often across the earth, but they're rare at any particular spot. When viewing an eclipse, it's important to note that a partial eclipse can be well over an hour, but a total eclipse is only about four or five minutes. If you go out about half an hour before the total eclipse starts, you can watch the moon fully move over the sun. And then if you stay out afterwards, you can see the moon move off of the sun. And you can view the whole thing safely through a pinhole projector without using eclipse glasses. Now I'll tell you how the projector works. So all light has to travel in straight lines and the light coming from the sun to the projector is in like a cone. And then as it goes through the projector, it'll turn into another cone on the other side and that cone will zoom out. So the farther away your projector is from your surface, the bigger an image you'll see. And that image is flipped as opposed to like the sun. The sunlight comes down this way and then out here. So something that's on the bottom of the sun becomes at the top of our image. Thank you so much for watching and have fun on your eclipse adventure.